So, Congresswoman, I first want to ask you what you think of the current state of impeachment. This process has been rigged from the start against the president, against Republicans. Uh, they only let the Democrat participate. I mean, I'm sorry, the president participate when it got to Judiciary Committee. But by then it was too late because there was no fact witnesses to even cross-examine. Um, this whole thing has been a farce, and now they drop a report on us after midnight last night. I mean, come on. This, this is ridiculous. Chuck Schumer actually wrote a letter to Senate Majority Leader uh, Mitch McConnell saying that he wants certain witnesses to participate in the Senate trial. So that's kind of what they want to do. And a lot of Republicans are saying, well, that's not what we got to do in the House impeachment effort. We didn't get to call our own witnesses. So why should the same thing be done in the Senate? It certainly has to be fairer than what happened in the House. I mean, as you know, um, against all precedent, uh, Nancy Pelosi put the impeachment process over to Adam Schiff in the Intelligence Committee where he had these closed-door hearings. I wasn't able to go into those hearings to hear the witnesses myself or cross-examine them or ask them questions at all. And, in fact, the president was not able to cross-examine the witnesses or attend those hearings at all. And so... Anything has to be better than what happened in the House of Representatives. And, of course, Schumer is going to say all this stuff because he's trying to spin the story, right, to his favor, to the Democrats' favor. But I can tell you what, the American people should see this for what it is. The, the Democrats have been wanting to impeach this president since he got elected. Would you like to see them maybe execute some oversight after the impeachment efforts? Most definitely. I think our side of the story needs to get come out. And the thing about the whistleblower, you know, I want to find out how much coordination this whistleblower had with Adam Schiff. And, you know, he lied on public TV, said that their office hadn't had any coordination or contact with them. And then that turned out to be untrue. And I want to hear from Hunter Biden. I want to know why he got paid so much money to be on a board of a company where he has no expertise while his father, Vice President Joe Biden, was not only the vice president, but the point person for Ukraine. This all seems very fishy to me. And if it's not done in Senate impeachment trials, it needs to be done elsewhere in the Senate so the American public can see for themselves the fishy, the shifty things that have been going on. But is this curbing any legislative efforts from the two chambers? Oh, of course it is. This whole impeachment thing has been going on since January when the Democrats took control of the House of Representatives. They might not have called it official impeachment inquiry, but Nadler was. Uh, Chairman Nadler and Judiciary, he kept calling it that. I mean, we've been doing the Mueller report investigation. That turned out to be a flop for the Democrats. Then they went on to this obstruction of justice from the Mueller report. That turned out to be a flop. Then they went to quid pro quo, decided to change it to bribery. Then they went on to extortion, witness tampering. Uh, some even mentioned treason. Mm. I mean, it's so ridiculous. Uh, unfortunately, it's very serious. But they seem to be making a joke out of impeachment. And I did a survey asking, do you think we should impeach the President of the United States? And overwhelmingly I think it was 80 some percent uh, said no, he should not be impeached. And so, at least from the people that were on my telephone town hall, which we call everybody, we don't know what political party they are. They could be Republican, they could be Democrat, they could be independent. Um, th at least in my district, they are totally opposed to impeachment. And so that's a good thing because I voted no and we'll vote no again.